This captures over 120 people experiencing a screening of Warrigal Creek. The night took place in Hillsville, not far from Clarendirk, heartland of the Wurundjeri. It is investigative journalism on the colonisation of Gippsland, offering the evidence available today. This story is similar to other untold stories across the continent. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised it may contain the voices or images of those who have passed. One of the problems that we've got in Australia is the complete lack of understanding of this side of our history and that really is about that as a perspective on history that we've all only ever been given one perspective and so films like this highlight the actuality of events that happened in the past to the group of people that were here in the beginning. Australia's always acknowledged that Aboriginal people were here first but not in an official capacity and so stories like this have always been hidden and swept under the carpet under the guise of the necessity of settlement, if you like. So, you know, watching stories like this whilst confronting are really important for all Australians to see. It's important for Aboriginal people to look at the strength of culture and to see that despite these things, we're still strong and we're growing stronger all the time. There's so many um, opportunities to attend other events, community-based events, and um, often um, our non-Aboriginal friends will um, you know, ask what, what can we participate in and there's, you know, um, things that happen at, uh, locally in your local communities and, and get in contact with your local community organisations and, and get along and, and participate. We the panellists, the panel discussion was amazing. I think it could, um, they should actually be sitting on Q&A or Insight or something like that. That's how, how fantastic they all spoke tonight and I think the audience really appreciated um, the great um, discussion that each and every one of the panellists um, shared with the audience. So, yeah. It's hard and, you know, it's uncomfortable and it's my responsibility as the inheritor of the privilege that comes with being white in this country to say um, enough is enough. We need to be honest and front up to this and in doing so we can then move forward together in a positive way that benefits all of us and um, not just those of us born with white skin or, you know, not the beneficiaries of that privilege. But the yeah, Rangers Council have been absolutely amazing. So later on, if we're able to have a smoking ceremony here in the building, it just shows the level of commitment and interest and valuing of our original culture. That's, you know, that's just one example of what they've done, but they've actually organised all of the ticket sales, handled all, of, handled all of the stuff that goes with putting on something like this, made their staff available, opened up the venue, um, at no charge to the network, the Hillsville Local Aboriginal Network. So, you know, a big round of applause for Yarra Rangers Council. Those present sang the Earth Awakening song in the language of the Gunai Kurnai a respectful way of letting country know what we were about to witness. The audience filled the room with this song, having to be stopped to allow the documentary to begin. For me, getting out into communities and talking and, you know, going to events and talking to people uh, and, you know, having a human interaction is a really powerful way to actually get that out there. So we're just going to continue to um, just do whatever we can to get as many people to see it. Yeah, it's really important that this story is known and shared and I think, you know, I'd love to see each side of violence, each um, place of massacre or resistance, um, if we had a film to tell all of those stories, that would be amazing. So it's just really wonderful to see, um, as hard as it is to watch this film, to see this story told. It's a really important story for all of us. I think um, films like these are incredibly important. We need to be telling these stories. We need to get these stories into schools. We need to make sure that the young people growing up today have access to this these important stories. This is our story as a nation and it's the way we're going to heal and it's the way we're going to walk forward together. Um, stories like um, tonight, the, the, the Warrigal Creek uh, massacre is a really um, big impact for us, as, particularly as Gunai Kurnai people. Um, you know, we, we grew up 
where we were seeing monuments built around Macmillan and his men. Um, yet, you know, what's been passed down to us from our, our old people is that, you know, um, at, uh, we, we were at death at the hands of, of his people. So. There's certainly been a cultural shift and we're getting more and more non-Indigenous Australians looking at these issues and seeing them as important and, and I guess coming on board in terms of, you know, trying to educate ourselves. I think it's really important for all Australians to take that step to want to educate yourself and by doing that we become educated as a society. It does give those of us who want things to change a bit more information. Like I know people who even get slammed who have no idea about that. And I'm going to drop it into conversation. So it's me the other night, Dan, your way. Ever heard about it? And they'll go, nah. <laughs> If we can start to find ways to tell these stories and not just tell them but um, for them to be heard you mm -hmm. know, and listened to and for people to connect with them with open hearts, um, we will have opportunities for healing. And while these stories are hidden and not shared, um, we're not moving forward, we're not going anywhere. And you know, we need healing, both sides of these stories need healing. Um, communities need healing and country needs healing as well where these things occurred. There's no point you know, looking for a future for this country if we don't look at coming together to do that. We've, unfortunately, we're in a global situation of divisive politics at the moment and we've got a real good chance to show the way as a nation to sort of heal some of the rifts of the past that we've created ourselves. And, and I think it's a responsibility for Aboriginal people as well to take that on board and to um, try and focus on what the positives are that we can get out of this. It's certainly an important part of the history of all people and it's something hopefully one of the important parts of Aboriginal culture that all Australians can embrace and, and learn from and, and obviously then yeah, hopefully we can move forward. We'd like to thank our valued partners, Yarra Rangers Council, Hearth Galleries and Hixa. Our deadly panellists, Melissa Harrison, Genevieve Greaves, Lisa Guy and Dr Peg Levine and our fabulous facilitator, Andrew Peters. Thank you to Lisa Guy and Andrew Dodd and the six amazing students who created the documentary. Thank you, Jamie Malu Thomas for the Earth Awakening song and this clip's music bed. Finally, thank you to the Hillsville Local Aboriginal Network, their broker, Cathy Austin and the land participants across Victoria.